All right. Well, welcome back to Junior A Hounds Chats. I'm your host, as always, Jamie Nugabauer, and I am very happy to be joined on Zoom here in the off season with a TELUS Cup participant, a Saskatchewan U18 champion, a Hound through and through, and now a Hound Junior A. It is Sam Bourchois. Sam, thank you so much for joining me. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Uh, for sure. I just read off the hop here. You just came back or relatively su- recently came back from Okotoks in the telescope with the Hounds U18s. Just talk about that experience. It was a really fun, good time with my team. It happens once in a lifetime. It's not very often you to represent your team at a national championship. It's lots of fun. Not the results we wanted, but still a great week. Yeah, absolutely. And not only, you know, did you do that, but you uh, got to win the Saskatchewan championship, which is always a, a tough thing. And, um, you know, people talk a lot about Notre Dame recruiting guys from all over the place. And that's true. To, you can't, can't deny that, but you're not from far away at all. You're from McTaggart, Saskatchewan, which is near Weyburn, if you don't know. So it's not, you know, you, you're just, you're just a, a, a Sask boy through and through. Uh, just talk about winning the U18 championship, how much that meant to you. It uh, meant a lot, as in all my years in Saskatchewan minor hockey. First one in the last year of minor hockey felt pretty good. Yeah, uh, very cool. But... Lots of work to get there, but lots of fun. Yeah, pretty awesome. And part, big part of that, I thought, was the stability on the back end that you guys had. Um, you know, obviously could go down the list into a man. I thought you guys all played really well, really all year. Um, and, and a big part of that element is, is maybe that continuity and that continuity will continue. And I'll definitely hope to talk to Vinny Palmerine, you know, later in the summer, but you guys were pa- a pair a lot. It felt like during the season and you both come into the junior A hounds together, you know, how much fun was it playing with Vinny so regularly? And especially once you knew that, you know, you were both, you know, signed to, to try to make this junior A team. It was lots of fun. A great guy. Have fun with him on the bench. Have fun with him in the game. Helps me stay calm. Thought we played well together and really excited to play with him next year. Yeah. And just, just I mean, obviously the the familiarity that you guys have makes a lot of sense. The style of players that you guys are as a pairing makes a lot of sense. And I'm sure, you know, coach Brett will consider that. And, you know, the way it all works every year and every hockey team is this guy plays with that guy. And this guy plays with that guy at different times all the time, but uh, it does kind of fit for those that don't know what kind of player would you say you are? I'd say I'm a two way defenseman loves to jump into the rush. Lots of offense in my game, but still can defend my own net. And defense is my passion and, just love my own end. Yeah, that's awesome. I love the way you said that. Love my own end. That's great. One of the things that I also really noticed about your game that uh, I really liked when you played uh, in the game that you were a call up, and it was actually a really big game for the Junior A Hounds uh, at home against Kindersley and the team that they were fighting kind of for that last SJHL playoff spot at the time was that you kind of didn't have any fear uh, about using the tools that you have. Was that something that you know, Brett needed to say, or the coaching staff needed to say, Hey, Sam, like, just be yourself. Or did you just, is that just part of who you are? Um, I was really nervous going to that game. I had a talk with, talk with Brett and Mitch and they uh, just told me how to go out and have fun, do what I do. Gave me lots of confidence before the game. So didn't worry about mistakes and just tried to play hockey. Yeah. And certainly skating translates, I think, uh, any level and the ability that you have to do that will do you in good stead right away. I think, you know, from training camp. So, um, you know, that's, that's really cool. I want to ask you as the draft is coming up here uh, as well, you know, um, you know, there's all sorts of ways that junior teams and junior A teams are constructed. And one of them is certainly through the draft. And uh, you were a part of the Weyburn Red Wings alongside uh, uh, Noel Englott there on that uh, waiver and team and you guys ended up being picked you know first in the second round to the hounds junior a uh you know the last time there was a draft just talk about that experience of being drafted in the sjhl what that was like what you were doing uh you know how plugged in were you um 
it was great. I grew up watching the Red Wings and Wayward. Always wanted to play in the league. Those guys were your heroes when you were little and getting that call when I was out at the lake, my family meant a lot. Wasn't expecting to go that high and I went that high. So made me feel great. It was a great experience. Yeah, very cool. And, you know, for those that don't know, um, you know, ended up spending a year at, uh, at PHA as well, which is a pretty fierce rivalry now, I guess, uh, between Notre Dame and PHA out in uh, Karenport there. But uh, then you end up you know, coming to Notre Dame and, and having that ability to, I know, skate with the junior A team a bunch. Uh, did How much did that help you, you know, practicing, you know, knowing that, you know, Kevin Anderson and Will Dawson and Oliver Band and, and these types of guys, you know, Elliot Dutille, who's one of the leading goal scorers in the league, SJHL, were, were guys that you were, you know, tussling with on a regular basis in practice. How much did that help you? It helped me a lot, and they gave me all the tips I needed to play in the league. Uh, practicing with the boys was a lot of fun, a lot more physical, high-paced, really enjoyed it. And they were always there, like, made a mistake, they'd come talk to you, tell you to forget about it, just go out there again. It was lots of fun. Yeah, and certainly Brett uh, is a guy I think that likes to practice hard, get to push the guys hard uh, in practice, and try to prepare them to play a, a certain tempo, a certain uh, a certain way. So you know, very cool. I think you'll fit in really well. Uh, I mean, already kind of already are. Uh, just then, two more questions. Just talk about your off season. Uh, how, how much have you been on the ice? How much have you been trying to rest and relax and recoup? That's important too. Uh, last couple of weeks have been a lot of rest. Started to get in the gym last week. Staying in the gym for the next couple of weeks, and I'll start skating again on the 25th of June. Very cool. And then uh, just a last question. You know, how important is it and was it for you part of this decision? Um, was it to kind of graduate a, a hound, a Notre Dame guy? You're going into grade 12. Uh, next year just talk about how important that was to you it's really important I had uh, lots of fun the year this year at Notre Dame I like being a, proud to be a hound had my had fun here and my parents thought it'd be a great decision to come back graduate be part of such a great tradition and happy to do it yeah awesome so there you go McTaggart Saskatchewan native and an SJHL draft pick of the Notre Dame Hounds Junior A going to come in and try to make this SJHL Junior A Hounds team and be a big part of that this year. Sammy, thank you so much for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you.